A new ad from the Trump re-election campaign accusing Democrats and the media of obstructing the president's agenda. With me now, Taya Kyle, she's wife of American sniper Chris Kyle and a Fox News contributor. Good to see you, Taya. Hi, Liz. So, uh, Senator McConnell, GP leaders, uh, who, uh, the Democrats, who do you think is hindering the, president, uh, the president's agenda? You know, I think it's both. Unfortunately, I think that Mr. McConnell is trying to use some excuses, right? He's saying it's hard. It's hard to do the job. You don't understand. There are people obstructing. And I feel like I understand that, but I also look at it from a point of view. If, if I'm given a job, I don't care who the employer is, if I say, I'm sorry, I'm trying, it's hard, I don't keep my job. I either get fired or I quit because I can't do the job. And so I think they need to keep that in mind because, you know, Democrats were able to get their goals accomplished. And these Republicans promised on the campaign trail that they would do certain things. And if they're not delivering, nobody wants excuses. So I think he needs to step it up and, and find a way around it. They're, they're smart people. They get paid a generous salary with great benefits. So do the job. Do what you promise. You know, Taya, um, we've been reporting all day how executives are leaving the president's manufacturing council, which is about getting more jobs in this country. And we have breaking news. Richard Trumka of the union uh, leader, uh, AFL-CIO, he has now quit the president's manufacturing council. What do you think of uh, these C what do you make of the story of the CEOs leaving the president's manufacturing council you know I think it's they have a right to leave but I, I'm cautious to look at things and say why are they really leaving it seems like nowadays things are just a chess game and they're smoke and mirrors and I feel like the real work is done when you roll up your sleeves and you address issues and you have conversations you confront people that you don't agree with and you try to make change but lately, it seems like people just want to take a stand, a protest, you know, to, to make a point, make a statement. That's different than rolling up your sleeves. I don't, I wish they would roll up their sleeves and do it. And I, I think they also should not have these big blanket statements instead of using specific facts and specific instances that they saw that they were so disturbed with that they had to step down.